chains are gone I've been set free Cause my God, my Savior Has ransomed me And like a flood His mercy reigns Unending Terry Price paying one final visit to Kyle Field. Ben Peck with Jordan Adams for a special edition of Aggie Sports Overtime, completely devoting our first segment here to the late, great Aggie coach, the man in charge of the A&M defensive ends for the past about 11 years or so. Mm -hmm. Of course, passed away just about two weeks ago. Yeah, Price was just 55 years old, and today a celebration of life was held in his honor at the Central Church in Bryan. The event attracted former Aggie players, coaches from all across the country. And they really were from all over. Some big names back in Aggie land, and we'll hear from some of them in just a bit. But first, Price joined the A&M coaching staff in 2012 with then head coach Kevin Sumlin. Uh, up, he was among those back in town to pay his respects earlier today. His Aggie ties though, Price, they run all the way back to 1986. His first season as a player for the Ags, part of the legendary Wrecking Crew defense. Price briefly played some in the NFL before return to the college game on the sidelines. You know, that's one of my brothers, you know, playing together and we actually played together a year in, in the, with the Dolphins and stuff like that. So. Um, just not only what he meant to me, but what he meant to Texas A&M to actually be able to come back and coach for as long as he did here. How much he loved the university is just, it's just amazing. Coach Price, man, he been basically like a second father to me, you know, like just taking me in, uh, being a long way from home. He made this really comfortable for me and the easy decision, you know, and it's just tough, tough losing him. I feel like everything that's out is, you know, it's true. You know, Coach Price was a, he was more than a coach, you know, he was a, a family man, great father, great husband, you know, like he just did everything great and he was a great human being. Fadil Diggs there, one of the handful of Aggie football players, also a pallbearer earlier today for his ceremony. Price leaves behind several family members, his wife Kenya, two sons, Devin and Alex. Of course, Devin was just on the Aggies roster as recently as last season. He's also survived by his mother and sister, among others. Yeah, the service honoring Price featured about a dozen different speakers, some of them current, like Coach Jimbo Fisher and his fellow defensive line coach, Elijah Robinson. We also heard from some legends of the past. All of them had extremely kind words for the legendary grill master and football coach, Terry Price. The three things I always think of Terry, he was an unbelievable friend. More importantly, he was an unbelievable husband. He was an unbelievable father. How many people could wear that many hats and be in the top 1% of the world and doing every one of them? And if everybody in our world was like that, would we have the issues and problems we have today? If we're all in this world to not make ourselves better, but to make the people around us better, to make the world a better place to be, Terry did that every day he lived. And the bad part, he didn't try. It's who he was. Coach Price was that friend, that big brother, that uncle we all needed. And I tell you what, he was, uh, and I, I, I tell you this, he was the father that we all needed as well. Because he gave us an example of what it meant to be a great father, a great husband, and like Coach said, just a great staff member. He was all those things. You know, a scripture I came past, uh, Proverbs 27, 17. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And I tell you what, that's what he did for me. And for many people in this room today, I'm pretty sure he did the same for you. But man, he sharpened me from all walks of life. And I tell you what, he was special. God made no mistake when he allowed me to come be a part of the staff and work with Coach Price. Long story short, over the course of time, I, I probably in my lifetime, in 30 some years of coaching, have not had a, a closer friend uh, as, a, as, a, as a family member, with his kids staying at my house, my kids staying at his house. I'm with, with you guys. I, I, there's never been anybody that I've come across that's had a bad word to say about Terry Price. And 
uh, was he tough on guys? Heck yeah. You'll hear from some of these guys. That, you know, I, I, had to, I had to turn my back sometimes and walk away how he talked to some of these guys at times. But, but at the same time, he loved them. And they knew it. So, too, I've been blessed to have a coach and a friend in Terry Price. I speak not only for myself, but for the many boys that he raised into young men. I would not be the football player I am or the man that I am without TP in my life. The memories of those cookouts will always be with me. He was my mentor. He was my brother in Christ. And most of all, he was my friend. Psalm 73, 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Rest in peace, TP. Thank you. I had the pleasure of being on the other sideline about nine times. But I can say this, after every game, Terry was the first person that came to me. He grabbed me. And said, Coach, I love you. At the end, I said, T Terry, I want to pray for you, son. And so I, I grabbed his hand there and uh, said a little prayer over him. And uh, at the end, I I'll never forget this. He, he turned his eyes over and big old huge tears came out of his eyes, you know. And so we were communicating. And then two days later, we got a, a message from Kenya that he had passed. And the thought went through my mind that he has gone now to a place where there's not going to be any tears. Not going to be any tears, any sadness, any that. And he's over there. And, and uh, I, I got a ticket. I can't wait to go see him. I came last week to be with Kenya because I know how much she loved Terry and how much it meant to them. And their anniversary, I didn't want her to spend it alone because that's just what best friends do. You as you know, Terry is a jokester. There was a card that simply said to my wife, if you know Kenya, she throws everything away. If you give her a card, she's gonna, she read it, she'll keep it for her birthday, but she's gonna get rid of it, she's not gonna keep it. And the card just simply said to my wife, you're the kind of woman who's as good hearted as you are gorgeous. A woman who's smart and funny and can totally hold her own. Sometimes I can't help but wonder how the stars align so perfectly to bring us together, or what I ever did to deserve you. But however it happened, I'm so proud and honored to be your husband and to have lived life with you by my side. Love, Terry. Just a few weeks ago on Memorial Day, Terry's dad went to be with the Lord after a long battle with dementia. And now, We usher Terry into the heavenly realm to rest and abide in eternity with his earthly father, Otis Price, and with his heavenly father, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. My heart is filled with so much gratitude for God's grace and his mercy. Amen. Man, hard not to get emotional hearing his mother talk, but of course, uh, we send our best wishes to the, the entire family. You know, many people were saying at the service today, uh, they can't remember finding anyone, I think you heard from Coach Sumlin, mm -hmm. who had a bad thing to say about Coach Price. Yeah, it was, it was obviously an emotional day uh, here in Aggie Lane, but from listening to the people speak, uh, to hearing the outpour of um, kind of emotions and, and praise and admirations on social media and things like that, it's, it's not hard to see that Coach Terry Price was a great person. I think it was really neat, too, to see the, the length of it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just the guys here recently, and, you know, those bonds, it seems like he built, you know, decades ago, still just as strong today yep. as they were then. Terry Price, uh, 55 years old and a celebration of his life earlier today. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Aggie Sports Overtime right after this.